hunters how's it going it's Lanny with hunting Western Mass uh, yesterday is opening day it was both a, a blessing and a curse um, I had some some great moments I uh, let a couple does walk by me and a, and a doe with a baby fawn um, waiting for that rack attack which never came so uh, I got bored up in my stand after uh, a little while and went up to an area that I call the TP um, and jumped a dandy buck up there. Uh, he went trying to circle around me. I, I backtracked instead of keeping going forward after him. What I did was I backtracked about 25, 30 yards. And I dropped down flat and uh, descended myself real quick to see if I could at least. Uh, I, I was set up on an opening, but uh, you, you know, he's not, of course he wasn't stupid enough to walk through there, but after a while, sure enough, about 20 minutes, I heard a chip chop, chip chop, and he was walking around, couldn't figure out where I was, he was pretty, pretty pissed off, um, I heard him snorting and grunting and, and all that good stuff, and I, I figured, well, if he's not going to walk, you know, it, it would have been far too much movement to adjust uh, my bow and my sit in my position on the ground it would have definitely busted me so uh, what I did was uh, I said well if I can't get a shot at him maybe I can get some video of him so I I, I, uh, I eased the video camera out and uh, I eased the video camera out and Jesus this truck's trying to kill me and uh, he uh, busted me right away and uh, chip chopped off about 100, 110 yards away and stood there uh, looking at me. And I left my, that was the end of my uh, my morning hunt. I had to go and do some errands, unfortunately. Um, so then in the afternoon, I shot over to Gill, Massachusetts to uh, see what the wind was doing there. The wind was coming out of the north, contrary to the reports. Uh, so I figured I'd jump up there and see if I could get a a, 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 a shot at the Ridge Runner buck. And uh, I went up there. Man, I tiptoed in there. I was quiet as could be, taking a step at a time. And it took me, you know, what was a 20-minute walk? It took me about an hour and a half, maybe close to two hours. Uh, I got in there, and he was long gone. There was no sign of him. I had my camera up. Uh, we shacked him out of there, I guess, when we, when we went in and jumped him out of there a couple times. But I'm sure he'll be back in the area. That's that's a great spot. It's on a ridge. It's and he's got a bed up there, and it's uh, it's on a spot where the the thermals rise and the wind blows from the direction most of the time that the people come in from. So it's a spot where the thermals and the wind kind of meet, and he can look down over this huge precipice. So he's got he's, he feels very safe up there. Um, but you know, uh, that's what it is. It's our mind against theirs, you know, so we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Uh, late, late in the day, I went over to a place I call the Key Piece in Wendell. I hunted there. It was cold. It was windy. It was unexciting, uh, <laughs> to say the least. So yesterday was, uh, yesterday was a great day to be in the woods. You know, I saw some deer. I, I had some fun. I, um, I learned a lot. I started my uh, you know hunting season journal, um, and uh, you know I'm pretty happy. So today, I thought it was going to rain this morning. Uh, I was pretty banged up from <laughs> yesterday. Kind of tore me up, so I stayed in bed and uh, didn't want to get up this morning and go out in the rain per se. But uh, I'm out here now. It's about uh, 11 o'clock ish, and uh, I'm headed over to. Uh, a bedding site I know um, and I'm gonna see if I can push some of these deer off of this bed and uh, get in there and uh, if depending on which way the winds going I might I might climb up in one of my stands and wait till last light but I hope you guys are having great luck out there it's Len Kale hunting Western Mass keeping you updated and uh, happy hunting all right